Okay, so let's start with the display here. On the left, we have the Fitbit Charge 6, and then we have on the right, we have the Fitbit Versa 4 here. And you can see that the displays are a little bit wonky. They are uh, setting off at different times there. So let's go into each one and set up the displays so that they're a little bit identical. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Fitbit uh, Charge 6 there. I'll scroll all the way down, and then you'll see Settings, and then you'll see Display Settings there. And then you'll see uh, brightness normal, we'll leave that as it is. Screen wake auto, we'll leave that as it is. And then here, we'll put, um, screen timeout is what we want. So it's set to default. I'm going to set it, uh, let's go to long and see how, how that goes. And then I'll also turn on, for the sake of the video, I'll turn on the always on display. And there it is, always on display. Now we'll do the same thing on the Fitbit uh, Versa 4 here, so I'll scroll down, I'll go to the top right hand corner there, settings, and then display is the first one there. Brightness, uh, dim, normal, yeah, we'll leave that. Button in motion and button only, we'll leave it on button and motion. Screen timeout, you can see here it's set to six seconds. Well, let's make that a little bit longer. Let's set it to 10 seconds, there you go. And then we'll also set the always on display on, We'll turn that on, and then now both of these are gonna have always on displays. Okay, now that we have the always on display on both, let's uh, flip through and check out what the statistics look like. We'll start with the Fitbit uh, Charge 6 here, and you can see at the bottom there, when I'm scrolling through, uh, the font is much smaller than the Fitbit Versa 4, but I will say with the Fitbit Versa 4 here, I did get this in the Clock Face app. It's called the Big Time Display, it is free. Uh, and um, I, I installed it on the Fitbit Versa 4 here. But when you crack it out of the box on the Fitbit Versa 4, this will not be the display. But you can kind of see the difference uh, right here in the font sizes here. Now I'm going to scroll up to the main stats page here, and you can also see the difference uh, with the Fitbit Charge 6. And then I'll do the same thing over here with the Fitbit Versa 4. So the Fitbit Versa 4 is just ever so slightly bigger there, uh, showing all the statistics there than the uh, Fitbit Charge 6 there. Personally, I'm a fan of the Fitbit Versa 4's display at the moment. I can try to activate the magnification here on the Fitbit Charge 6, but as you can see, the triple tap, uh, that's what you need to do to activate the uh, larger font size is not working. So that means I have to go back into here, go into settings, and then I have to activate it. So out of the box, you have to uh, activate it. So let's just do that right now. And I'm in settings here, GPS, and then you can see here, magnify settings. You push that and then I um, turn that on. And, and now if I triple tap like that, it's kind of finicky a little bit, but it does eventually activate. And you can see you can activate. Very unnatural. Um, I'm, I'm not a fan of this, but it, it, does, it does work when it works. And... Uh, yeah, you know, it's just easier to have a bigger display like right out of the gate. Okay, so let's fire up the GPS on both of them and see how long it takes them to connect here. I'm in my basement, so this might be a little bit uh, extreme here. Uh, I'm going to do it with starting a walking goal. So I'm going to scroll over to exercise there and I'm just going to push walk. Uh, if you don't see this, that means you have to go into the app and add the walking um, uh, exercise. Okay, you're going to see start there and then I'm going to just go over here and do the same thing. Scroll to the right here and then you're going to see eventually uh, the exercise. I'm just going to push all and then it's going to go to exercise and it's going to you're going to see walk like right there push on that and now both of these are set uh, to the uh, basically the walking if you were to start walking but the thing I have to do here is I have to go scroll down and I have to activate GPS uh, because it's off so I'm going to push that right now and then I'm going to do the exact same thing over here and then push the GPS just like that and now at the very top you will see something called GPS connecting and now you can see both of them uh, are connecting to the GPS and as soon as it's connected it'll say like GPS connected so the Fitbit Versa sorry the Fitbit Charge 6 has already connected and the Fitbit Versa 4 is still connecting so we'll see uh, how things go here okay and I've waited just a little bit longer here and it still hasn't connected so I'm just gonna let it go here so you can see in this demonstration in my basement the Fitbit Charge uh, 6 has connected much faster than the Fitbit Versa 4 with the conditions
Okay, let's go for a quick five minute walk on my treadmill here and just look at the steps comparison. The Fitbit Charge 6 is at 2,773 steps, which you got right here. And then over here on the Fitbit Versa 4, we're at an even 3,700 steps. We'll walk for five minutes and then put the totals down and subtract the difference. Okay, so here we are on my treadmill. Let's fire it up here. And we're just gonna speed it up a little bit. Let's go to oh 1.7 there and then we'll take a look at our time here and make sure we are at the time there you go 15 seconds okay so let's walk for oh let's say five minutes or so quick test here it's just a one-off test but we'll see how things go okay just approach the five minute mark there let's go back to the desk and see how we did Okay, final steps here on the Fitbit Charge 6, 3156, and then on the Fitbit Versa 4, it was 4097. So I just put that there, 3156 for the Charge 6, and then 4097 for the Versa 4. I just subtracted the two numbers. Total steps uh, for the Charge 6 was calculated at 383 steps in five minutes there on a one tester, and then for the Versa 4, uh, subtracting the numbers there, it was 397 steps, if all the math is correct. So, a slight difference there, but uh, overall, yeah, that's that. Okay, let's move over to build quality here. And just uh, picking them up, uh, just eyeballing it there, uh, they did... Uh, I find that, yeah, they did do a good job with the Fitbit uh, Charge 6 here. The actual, like, clock face in the housing area there uh, for the sensor and everything does have and feels like it's uh, built uh, very well. And I can say the exact same thing for the Fitbit Versa 4 as well. The build quality feels... Uh, it feels solid, doesn't feel plasticky at all, and of course uh, those are the sensors there, but I, I would say the build quality is good for both devices. Moving over to bands, this is where I feel uh, things kind of fall apart uh, when it comes to the Fitbit uh, Charge 6 and the Versa 4 here. Uh, for some reason, I don't know, I just feel that the bands, when they when they snap in, I'll take it out again and you can kind of see it clips in just like that, but it just doesn't feel like it's going to it's gonna make it, like it's going to stay in there in the long term. I don't know, you know, why they do it that way, but uh, yeah, it just kind of uh, clips in and then you just pull it out like that. And then it just does not feel secure. And this is the exact same thing uh, with the Fitbit Versa 4 here. Again, I'll just flip that around and then I'll just uh, push the band in just like that. You know, it clips in and it just does not feel same feeling I get with the Fitbit Versa 4. Just doesn't feel like it's going to make it. Um, I do wear the Fitbit Versa 4 on my wrist and I've had no issues with it yet. But long term, I just don't know. So, I mean, they're both, you know, solid durability when it comes to the clock faces. But yeah, again, the bands, I just don't know. Uh, just in that one area there, what's going to happen in the future. Okay, and here are the bands side by side here, uh, both uh, comfortable on the skin there, and then they have that kind of, I don't know, interlocking kind of technology where the uh, excess band goes underneath into the skin there, and instead of it flapping over, so whatever that's called there, but uh, it feels very comfortable, snug, uh, stays in place, which is really nice. Okay, let's look at heart rate. I'm just kind of standing around here. Uh, the Fitbit Charge 6 is sitting at around 84, and the Fitbit Versa 4 is sitting around 82, and they're kind of fluctuating away there. But the good news is it doesn't look like they're overly uh, wonky here or anything like that, nothing outrageous. Um, of course, this is a, you know, just a subjective one-off kind of test here, but uh, that's a good sign. The numbers are identical, which is good. Now, the Fitbit Charge 6 has a couple of extra features here. For example, uh, if I scroll to, they have the ECG here, and I just push that, and then it activates. Then it says, uh, put index finger and thumb on the metal sides. So I'm just going to do that right here. And then it's going to go through an assessment here. And as you can see, it is counting down uh, 30 seconds there. So we'll let it do that. 
Okay, and when it's done, it says data collected, then it analyzes it, and then it gives me a conclusion like so, then I scroll, and then there's more information there. So, uh, yeah, so that's a cool thing that the Fitbit Charge 6 does have. All right, so final thoughts here for walking. I'm still true to my Fitbit Versa 4 here. The bigger display all around is just better. Uh, in my opinion, when walking out and about, I can see it. It's very clear. Like I said before, this is a clock face that was in the clock face app, which I had to add in there. It's not the default one. When it comes to the Charge 6, again, uh, just the display for the steps and all the other data is just too small on the main display. And even when you scroll down to here with the stats heavier display, it is still kind of small to read uh, again. And I don't have that problem anymore with the good old uh, Fitbit Versa 4 here with this display. So yeah, I mean, that's just where I sit with it. Uh, so I still stick with my Fitbit Versa 4 on my wrist when it comes to walking.